Thanks for those, Gray. When you join me for Newton Abbott for three races. So the first up is the Tocqueville Handicap Hurdle over two miles and six furlongs. Anya Splash from Darren Thompson, Pedro Hogan's Jenna Bucks Jolly, Vinnie Gerard's Pompey Closer Rapunzel and Sycamine for Martin Leadham, Glamis Relic's Cherry Postillion for Stu Gray, Vertical Blue for John Morgan, Bagger Tricks for Stu Gray, Mazuna Judith Relic's Cherry and Tiger Soprano for Matt Cooper. Eleven of them go over two miles and six furlongs. Style has gone away on this hurdle course here at Newton Abbott. Conditions are good, as you can see. There's a nice blue sky. And as they come to the first, they all skip over that. So, an unusual vertical blue for John Morgan hasn't gone on. And it's Tiger Soprano that's going to just rise first over the second from Sycamine. And the rest, Pompey closer than one nearest to us, in the green silks. Two turn, dark sleeves, green cap for Vinnie Gerard. And just as our back marker at the moment is Mazuna Judith. But as Tiger Soprano takes a three length advantage from Jehan Jehanna Bucks Jolly, Postilian and Vertical Blue, and then a length to Rapunzel. How wide is Glamis? Does they all go over the third? A couple of slower jumps there. I think the worst was Sycamine. Earlier, Pompey closer out wide, and towards the rail is Bag of Tricks, and then Mazuna Judith. That's just our back marker at the moment, but Tiger Soprano. Happy to bowl along in front. Just through the first half mile or so, leads by about four to Johanna Bucks Jolly. Glamist has moved up on the wide outside now, took a share of second. Vertical blue and postillion and Rapunzel just on their flank. Um, length and a half back to Anya Splash. So I'll go over the fourth. Good jump this time by Sycamine. And Pompey close up. Bag of tricks and Mazuna Judith. It's our field as they come to the fifth. Slow jump there this time by Postillion. Shuffles back. Tiger Soprano for Matt Cooper. Leads by just a couple now as Glamis comes over from his wide position to take second on his own for Johanna Bucks Jolly. And then vertical blue and Rapunzel. And they had a little bit of room there as Glamis cuts straight in front of Johanna Bucks Jolly and does it again. So Tiger Soprano is going to lead us back into the home straight. From Glamis in second, vertical blue, Rapunzel and Johanna Bucks Jolly. Length and a half to Postilion and Sycamine, and a further length back to Anya Splash, Pompey Closure, and Bag of Tricks. And just Mazuna Judith still holding that back marker position as they clear the six. And come alongside the grandstand now. There's the seventh, which will be the last next time round. And Mazuna Judith rather stepped over that one towards the rear. But Tiger Soprano is going to wave to the crowd. Leads with a circuit to go. Glamist, Vertical Blue, Rapunzel, that trio, and then Sycamine a little bit wider. And then Johanna Bucks Jolly has dropped back a little bit. Bag of, trips has, Bag of Tricks has improved a bit. And then Pompey Close and Postillion and Always Splash. And it's still Mazuna Judith, who's just sitting at the back, can see them all. So they go over the eighth. And they'll clear that mistake at the back by Anya Splash, our top weight. Drops back to join Mazuna Judith. But Tiger Soprano. Leads down just to a length now, Sycamine about four wide, comes up to challenge, Vertical Blue and Glamis are still there, and then Rapunzel and Bag of Tricks taking a hold, Johanna Bucks Jolly still running along the running rail, out wide still, Pompey Closer, and then Postilion, Mazuna Judith moved out of the towel in Charlie position now, and left the top weight, Anya Splash down in that last position, so up front, Tiger Soprano finally gets headed by Sycamine, who takes it up now from Tiger Soprano, Glamis and Bag of Tricks, our next trio, as they get to the ninth, that's four from home, they all clear it, good jump out wide by Rapunzel, who now joins his stable mate up front, so Sycamine and Rapunzel from Glamist, Bag of Trips and Pompey Closer has moved closer to the rail and getting closer all the time, so Rapunzel, Sycamine, Bag of Tricks, we've only got half a mile left to run. These two Martin Leadham horses still lead from Pompey Close Up. Glamist, a 
a bit wider bag of tricks wider still is a Mizuna Judith main up the ground as, along with Johanna Bucks Jolly as well as Anya Splash but the two up front are still Rapunzel and Sycamine these two are going to fight it out together stable mates from Mizuna Judith and Johanna Bucks Jolly Glamis bag of tricks Pompey closer hasn't got a lot left vertical blues going nowhere but it's Sycamine and Rapunzel inside the quarter mile now from Mizuna Judith and Johanna Bucks Jolly Sycamine they get to the penultimate a mistake there by Sycamine he's out of it but it's left Rapunzel out on his own from Mizuna Judith Sycamine Johanna Bucks Jolly as they come to the last slow over it Rapunzel but he's only got a half a furlong left to run now from Sycamine has got up from second Johanna Bucks Jolly is probably going to be third and you smash and bag of tricks are fighting out that third and fourth but it's going to be a win for Rapunzel a one two for Martin Leedham a one two uh, weights of his horses in the past couple of weeks come on guys amazing he told me it's because he'd never won anything at Cheltenham but I'm not so sure he has picked up so many wins in the past three weeks far too fortunate so well done to Martin Leadham takes the two point handicap hurdle with Rapunzel and Sycamine in first and second third is Johanna Bucks Jolly for Pedrick Hogan fourth was Bag of Tricks for Stu Gray running on and Anya Splash for Darren Thompson our top weight got up for fifth